Hello my dear children, how are you all? I hope you all are safe and happy. Welcome to our Saturday story session with Shabana ma'am. So today I am going to tell you a story of a pumpkin of pepper. And the story is written by Helen Cooper. Let's see what is there in the story. Something was bubbling in the old white cabin. What was in the cooking pot? Pumpkin soup made by a cat, a squirrel and a duck waiting just for a pumpkin of salt to make it the best you've ever tasted. But there no salt left quack the duck. They'd run clean out. It was true. There wasn't a grain, not a sparkle of salt to put into the pumpkin soup. Could it still be the best you ever tasted? No, the cat said. I'm going shopping. Oh, please, begged the duck. Let me come too. But the duck hasn't been to the city before and he had a habit of wandering off. What if you get lost? The cat mewed. I won't, squeaked the duck. And if I do, I'll tell a police dog. You'll never find a police dog, yelled the cat. If you were ever lost, said the squirrel. The best thing to do is stay where you are and you'll find, we'll find you. Better yet, don't get lost at all, said the cat. It was time to catch the bus. Can I go, pleaded the duck. Can I go, he said. And he wiggled and wielded and bobbled and begged until the cat said, All right, if you promise to hold on tight. And I'll come too, said the squirrel, and hold on to you. But the duck felt scared when he first saw the city. It was very big and very busy. He started at the stores and the towers and quacked. Let's buy the salt and go straight back. Hold on tight, said the squirrel. The salt shop isn't far from here. And the cat led them past. More towers, more stores selling all sorts of things. Puddings and pastries, pilchards and prawns, lobsters and light bulbs, pizza and pepper. And that gave the duck a clever idea. Wouldn't it be fine, he murmured, if he bought some pepper for a pumpkin soup? I bet it would taste delicious and quacked. Can we buy some pepper? Pepper, squeaked the squirrel. We won't need that. There's the salt shop, said the cat. We have a job to do and we don't want to miss the bus back. But the duck wasn't even listening. He was thinking about pepper for the, the pumpkin soup. Wouldn't one pumpkin be quite enough? He turned around to ask. But the other had gone. Lost! quacked the duck. I am lost in the city. He scuttled off in a terrible tizzy. Inside the salt shop, the cat and the squirrel were busy buying a small bag of salt. They didn't even notice that the ducks were missing until the salt was paid for and packed. Where can he be? howled the cat and the squirrel wheeled. Where did he, we see him last? 
at the pepper shop, they shouted together. They hurried back, but the poor duck was lost in the crowd. He couldn't even find the pepper shop now. He collided with a kind mother hen. Are you lost? She chuckled. Yes, brawled the duck. I can't find my friends. Where did you see them last? Asked the hen. At pepper shop, sniffed the duck. And I should have waited there till they come back. But I forgot. I know the shop, said the hen. And the pepper. Doc might have seen your friends. Let's go and ask him. A cat and a squirrel, said the pepper dog. They'll ju they just left by the other door. I'll never see them again, wailed the duck. And nothing would cheer him up. Not even a drink. Not even a snack. Not even a pack of pepper. Hush, said the hen. We'll dial 911. Any minute now, they'll come right through the door. Pretty soon, through the door came six police dogs with megaphones, four help for helpful fire dogs, two foxes who left rather quickly. And at last, the squirrel and the cat, the duck, was so pleased to see them. The cat wasn't cross and the squirrel would, didn't scold, even though they missed the last bus. Who needs a bus? quacked the duck. We'll go. We got a police dog to fly us home. The cat and the squirrel were happy and they had their salt for the pumpkin soup. As for the duck, he had his pack of pepper. He held it tightly all the way back. Home again in the old white cabin. Pumpkin soup is cooking pot. Made by the cat who slices up the pumpkin. Made by the squirrel who stir in the water. Made by the duck who tips in pumpkin of salt and a pumpkin of pepper. Oh no, a pack of pepper. Would the soup still be the best you ever tasted? Ah, choo, delicious. So my dear children, did you enjoy this story? A pumpkin of pepper. See how the duck was lost, right? But at last, the police dog found him. And all was so happy. And they had the delicious soup. So, you all can also have delicious soup. Tell your mama to make it home. See you next time. Bye.